<laughs> oh damn team. Welcome to Prague. Hey team, welcome back to another Levi Save the World Hildebrand episode. Leah and I are here in Prague for an arts festival and we thought what better place to talk about how we employ some zero waste components to our travel regime. But they're all things that actually make your trip, <laughs> but they're all ways that you can actually make your trip better. But first a disclaimer. <laughs> Now, of course, I get the irony that I am a YouTuber talking about saving the planet, yet I'm flying all around the world making videos about the stuff that's making it a better place. I, I get that. I'm working on some carbon offset ideas and some creative ways to reduce my own impact, but that'll be coming in a later video. Catch. Oh my God. <laughs> but it is unlikely that the rest of the world, myself included, is going to stop traveling anytime soon. So here are five zero waste hacks that will actually make your trip even better. Beep, beep, beep. Was that like super buzz feedy? Was that like- Yeah, it was a little buzz feedy. Yeah, it was yeah. a little. Number one, fewer places in more time. Let me say this again. Fewer places in more time. This is the single most important tip that I give out when I feel like giving unsolicited advice. And this is why. You're paying all this money to go on a trip, you might as well take the time to enjoy it. The more time that you spend traveling in between places is time that you could be experiencing something new. This happens to also be one of the highest impact parts of traveling. The more connections that you have on your trip, the more emissions that are released in order to get you there. And this is just the top of the list. The experience you have in a place is so much better if you take the time to enjoy it. If you rush through everything, you're much more likely to fall into a tourist trap or end up being scammed. Leah and I like to spend at least one week in a city and we're here in Prague for 12 days. This allows you enough time to understand what it's like to live in a city from a local perspective. On top of this, if you're staying somewhere for a week, that means that your sheets and other things in your apartment only have to get changed every seven days instead of every night. Shall we show you around? Stay somewhere with a kitchen. Being able to cook your own meals at home means that you'll be able to be more decisive and more careful about what would you eat and it will save you a ton of money. Having a kitchen also means that you probably have access to stuff like cutlery and cups if you wanna borrow them. So we didn't have room to bring a reusable coffee cup on this trip, but we've had a lot of success bringing the coffee mugs from our Airbnb to local coffee shops and getting them to fill them up for our breakfast. <laughs> and people Thank love you. to have help you out. You okay, if I can get out of here, we'll see. Always be picnic ready. One of my favorite things about traveling is that you can just bring a picnic to anywhere that you wanna go and just bring some of your essentials to make it easier. So that includes, sometimes we have reusable grocery bags. We always bring our own water bottles, bamboo cutlery, own little container, and of course, the picnic itself. So we always like to try and buy stuff from local vendors or farmers markets or something like that. Today we have some miniature pizzas. The peaches, always nice doing whole fruit peaches. We also got a cucumber and a carrot. I just like to eat the cucumber exactly like this, but <laughs> that's why we bought the cutlery, if that's not what you're into. <laughs> and some hummus. After a fair amount of trial and error, I would say that this is the best bamboo uh, eating utensil that we've used in the past. It does everything that you need it to do. You can even cut stuff with the edges because they're pretty sharp. Because these ones, like as you can see, the, the fork there is already cracking down the middle and it's actually pretty scratchy in your mouth. Like the grain that they cut it on actually creates like these little slivers that make it really uncomfortable in your mouth. So maybe avoid Ola Bamboo and go with something from Bamboo Organic. Number four, buy experiences, not things. I've talked about this whole subject in a previous video for Leah's birthday last year, but this applies especially well within the context of traveling. It can be super enticing to buy a memento or a keepsake from a country that you've visited, 
but often these things just end up sitting on a shelf somewhere in your house never being used. On a side note, don't buy gifts for people from a place that you've visited. Nobody wants a t-shirt from Prague if they've never been there. Instead, use that money to have an experience. But if crazy theater isn't your thing, then find an awesome lookout and hike to it. That's the Petrin Tower, and it's a miniature Eiffel Tower that overlooks all of Prague. Let's go check it out. Oh dear God, that's gonna take forever. Um, number five, take public transit. <laughs> Not only is public transit often the cheapest way to get around, but taking the bus gives you a local's perspective on the city and an opportunity for some great people watching. But the most efficient form of transportation wherever you are is your own power. If you can ride a bike, that's an amazing way to see a city. Or if you're brave like Leah and I, you can hike up to the Petrin Tower here in Prague. You just might get a little sweaty. Oh wow, wow. there it is. If you're gonna go to the Petrin Tower, don't hike up the hill to get to the Petrin Tower. Just hike up the stairs. I mean, unless you're like us and you've been drinking Czech beer for a week. Whew. <laughs> oh damn team. Welcome to Prague. Number six, pack like a minimalist. I know that Marie Kondo would cringe if she saw my bag right now, but any extra weight that you bring on a plane means that there's more fuel needed to move it. Extra bags also means that you need more money to store it. By packing more thoughtfully, you force yourself to avoid those unnecessary purchases, and you encourage a more simplistic life while abroad. And all of these tips are easy to accomplish today because of the wonders of digital technology. The phones that we have inside of our pockets allow us to do incredible things, including travel without the need for those bulky paper binded texts that we used to read. And that's why today's episode is sponsored by Blinkist. So I just wanna put out a huge thank you to Blinkist for sponsoring this video. It's incredibly difficult to make videos while on the road and when a company comes out and wants to support what I'm doing in this way, it makes a huge difference. But I decided to partner with Blinkist because I think it's genuinely a very cool way to access a bunch of really great information in a new and creative way. When you're on the go like Lee and I, it's hard to justify bringing your favorite book with you on the road. But that's why Blinkist exists. They do. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't know about Blinkist before I started this trip. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Blinkist gives incredible breakdowns of some of the most popular titles available online. It takes books like the one I'm reading right now, Factfulness by Hans Rosling, and breaks them down into these fun, digestible chunks of about 15 minutes or so. I was actually skeptical of how good the translation and the synthesizing of the information was going to be with a book like Factfulness that is literally packed full of info, but I was pretty satisfied with the rendition that Blinkist has. While I was researching for this video, I found a book on Blinkist called Travel as a Political Act. And that book reflects and mirrors a lot of the things that I've talked about in this video. So if you download the app, definitely check out that title. And so as you can probably expect, there's a little link down in the description for the first 100 members of the team to go and download their free trial to test this baby out. You can bail out of that free trial at any time with no cost to you. And if you do like the app and you want to continue on with it, you get 25% off with the link just for hanging out with me once a week. But I hope that you got something out of this video other than an awesome discount on an awesome app. Leah and I are right at the end of our Prague trip, so we're gonna savor our last few moments, but I hope that you got something out of this for your next trip. If you have any tips and you think that I've left something out, leave a comment down below, and hopefully, if you're subscribed to this channel, we will see you in the next one.